colleagues, uh, on Friday, uh, the LGBT community had a very tragic loss uh, when uh, Gilbert Baker, uh, who created the rainbow flag, which is in many ways a symbol of our community, uh, passed away in New York uh, at the age of 65. Um, Gilbert Baker uh, was an amazing artist who, in 1978, um, hand dyed and stitched together the first uh, rainbow flag uh, for Pride uh, that year. Uh, he was born in, on June 2nd, 1951, in Kansas, in a small rural town. Uh, his mother was a teacher, his father a lawyer and a judge. He was drafted into the Army, where he served as a medic and eventually was stationed in San Francisco, where, like many uh, gay men and LGBT people in general, uh, he stayed after leaving uh, the Army. Uh, in the 1970s, he made uh, many banners uh, for anti-war demonstrations uh, and for political purposes, including for his friend uh, Harvey Milk. Uh, when he uh, created uh, the rainbow flag for the 1978 uh, Gay Pride Parade in San Francisco, um, I don't think that uh, Gilbert had any way of knowing that 40 years later, that flag would still be the ultimate symbol for so many people of the LGBT uh, community. Um, he was really just an amazing person uh, who stayed involved over the years and until the end. Uh, he struggled with health issues and he had a stroke a few years ago, uh, but he was still planning his last project, which is to create a massive rainbow exhibition at San Francisco International Airport. And many of us uh, want to make sure uh, that that ultimately happens in Gilbert's uh, memory. Uh, he never made any money off of the flag. He never took out a patent on it. He created what he could have made a fortune on it. He never did, because for Gilbert, it was about the community. Uh, so Gilbert, rest in peace. Uh, you will be remembered forever. Uh, and thank you for everything you gave to our community. Thank you, Senator Weiner. Please bring his name forward so he can be properly memorialized.